just start talking. Say where you are. Hey, you gotta start over again because I was talking. Hi, we're in the ATL airport waiting for our flight to Orlando. And we're really excited. <laughs> We just got to Orlando, and uh, the first thing we did, we just kind of had a day to ourselves. We went around the park. Animal Kingdom! Woo! We're in Animal, Animal Kingdom, and we're Kingdom. excited to ride all the rides! Hey, we're about to ride the best ever, so we're really excited because this is the best ride ever. relax and have fun but now it's really time to get down to business and you know do what we came here to do. The Tiger Girls have finally made it to Orlando and there's only 24 hours left until they hit the mat for semifinals. All right let's go hustle. Listen right now all we're gonna do is walk through the entire dance we're gonna stop at each formation just so you can see your lines and spaces. Okay ready one one two three Four, five, six, seven, eight, one. Right two, now, where three, we are four, is in the rehearsal five, room six, at Jostens, seven. and this to me is such a, it's a pivotal point in where they are as a team. It's like we really get to Ready? see one, what kind of focus two, they have three, when they're four, on the mat. Five. Stop, it's, it's wrong. You're straddling the line, and then the space, and then Erica is straddling the line. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's do this full out. Two, three, four, and five, six, seven, eight, freeze. Um, fix your formation, guys. For jazz, we're really excited about performing our routine. It's a little more technical than we've ever done before. Here we go. Let's go. And we're um, hoping that the performance is going to hit. That's one thing that we've really been working on because it's a really um, jazzy and per lots of personality throughout the whole thing. So that's our goal is to really pull that off and have the judges just kind of wild with our performance. Very good. Let's get to the first set of wet days. First set of wet days. Good job. Good job. You have a minute and 20 seconds left here. First set of wet days. We had our first uh, open rehearsal in front of other teams today, and it's really different when we've just been in our studio, in our comfort zone. It's been us in front of a mirror watching ourselves, and now bringing it into that different atmosphere coming off of last year. It's really awesome. It's motivating to have other people telling you good luck, saying they can't wait to see you. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, and three, four, and five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good job. I think that we just really can't wait to get out on that mat tomorrow and show everybody what we've been working on. It's funny, they perform at practice and they're incredible at practice, but as a dancer, naturally, you're performers at heart. So having other people here watching you, something else came out in them and I, that was really the first time that I actually, I, I realized that, you know, we're gonna win, we're gonna do this again. And um, it was a really great feeling for me as a coach to have. And I think they got that feeling too. So they were great, they were focused, they were hitting all of their skills, all of their technique. Um, I think we're really set up to peak at the right time. Good job, yes, yeah. good job. Okay. The last thing that we really need to do today for our set schedule is go walk over to the HP Fieldhouse and see what the mat looks like. I know that we do it at the Justin Center tomorrow, but you know, everyone, you know, hopefully we get to finals and everyone really thinks about nationals, I think, or we do, we always think about nationals in the Fieldhouse. I just think it's so important for the girls to feel that feeling because still to this day I've been here 12 years in a row and every time I walk in I still get that good feeling of getting punched in the stomach like here it is like we've been practicing this is the first time we see it and I want the girls to have that feeling today so they can you know kind of think about that dream about that tonight so um, today that's definitely the last thing on our agenda is just going to look at that Marley mat and just smile and kind of visualize our dance. The old girls always give good little sound advice about how to stay focused and um, they make playlists on their iPod and different things like that. So coming in here is just a, a big uh, deal for us every year just to get the new girls acquainted with everything that we're going to be doing this weekend. I think our advice to the new girls has kind of been to control your adrenaline because we have so many things to focus on that are like crucial to hit. So we just, you know, we told them you're going to get really excited and when you hear the crowds going, just kind of really control your energy, focus and make sure you're hitting everything the right way. 
The old girls are definitely leading here. Coming back as the reigning champions, we're like trying to pump them up and trying to give them the feeling. You really can't, but we're trying to let them know what it feels like so they can get pumped up about having the same feeling. I think that it's huge to have a great team for nationals, that good bonding experience is crucial. I, I realize that, you know, we're going to win, we're going to do this again. Tomorrow's the big day, we can't wait.